Amber Barno is a writer and commentator and a member of Concerned Veterans for America. Amber, good day to you and thank you for your time today. Hi, Bill. Thanks. Um, the issue here is obvious. Tell us about the concern. Right. Well, this, the government is breaking their promise to military retirees and their family members. When they volunteered and signed up to fight and defend for our nation at all costs, they did so under the notion that if they retired at 20 years, they would receive a full military re retirement to include a living adjustment and instead they're having to suffer the consequences of government fiscal irresponsibility and mismanagement. Uh, Amber, you know cuts have to be made. So, so make the case against why veterans or members of the military right. should be affected. Well, absolutely cuts have to be made, but unfortunately with this deal, uh, there's no comprehensive plan to address the debt and the deficit long term. Uh, we are on an unsustainable spending path right now. It doesn't address our nation's uh, spending addiction. It doesn't address DOD reform. And it doesn't address entitlement programs, all which we have to have an adult conversation about if we want to get serious about cutting the debt. And we're not seeing that with that. M military members, retirees, they're an easy target. That's why they're going after Do them Do you like think this. they are an easy target? You get Republicans and Democrats in Congress. They, they, they've served in the military. Why would you call it an easy well, target? I would say very few members have served in the military these days. And, and it's because it's easy to put them uh, on the chopping block. It's something like Congress may not think that a 1% uh, cut to a military retirement is a significant deal to them, but to an E7 yeah. who has served for 20 years, who's 42 years old, that's $3,700 a year or a total of $72,000 to the point when, when they get mm -hmm. to that 62 years old. Yeah, I, I understand the point you're making. It looks like this is going to go through. Um, it, it looks like the votes are there yeah, in the Senate right. and the president will sign it into law probably tomorrow afternoon. You call this a breach of American trust for our veterans. It really is. Uh, the fact that they are not grandfathering in current retirees, current active duty military members is an absolute disgrace. They were promised certain benefits and not everyone in the military retires, but a certain percentage do and when they make that decision to make a career out of the military, uh, they essentially are not being given what they were guaranteed. And there are going to be changes to military retirement. Uh, currently, right now, the Military Compensation and Retirement Modernization Commission is addressing what changes need to be made, but under the guidelines of of uh, current active duty and retirees being grandfathered mm -hmm. in. So the fact that they decided not to do this with this is unacceptable. Yeah, I know that you make the point very well that they're paying attention. And we're going to see how the veterans react because of this. Amber Barno, thank you for your time.